Now that we know how to install the Tor browser and how to access the Tor network even if Tor is blocked, let's have a quick overview on how to use this browser and how to configure its settings for maximum security and anonymity. Now the first thing to keep in mind is never use Tor in full screen. Always keep it unmaximized as you can see here and just increase the screen size manually from the edges of the window because the size of the screen can be used to identify what kind of laptop or what kind of a screen you're using. Also, it's a very good idea to always check for updates. So to do that, all you have to do is just go to the onion right here and click on check for browser updates. So as you can see, I'm at check.torproject.org and everything is working for me. It's telling me that Tor is working and that my IP appears to be this IP. So this is all good. If we go here to the eye icon, you will see the Tor circuit. So these are the nodes that I've been showing you before in here. So this would be my first, second, third. And if we go back to here, you can see that my first or guard node is Germany. Then I'm going to the United Kingdom, then to Canada, and then go into the Tor project website. So these are my three nodes that I used to always show you in here. So that's really cool. You can also click on new circuit for this site. And what this will do is it'll randomly select three different nodes, different than what we have in here. This will basically change your IP and it'll make you look like you're coming from a completely different IP. So if I click on it now, you'll see this page will refresh and you'll see my IP in here changed. And you can see that now I'm going Germany, Germany, Moldova, and then I'm going to the target website, which is torproject.org. So that's very cool. What I also want to show you is the settings. So if we click on the onion icon in here, you can see again, we can request a new identity from here. When you click on new identity, the whole browser will close your cache, your history, and all your browsing data will be removed. Then the browser will restart with a completely new circuit. So this option will make you lose all the tabs that you have open, but you will look like a completely different person. Whereas when you request a new circuit from here, this circuit will only affect the current website, the website that we have loaded here, and it won't delete your history or browsing data. So the only thing that will change is your IP. You will seem like you're coming from a different country or from a different IP. Whereas the new identity, it'll change all of that. Plus it'll close all tabs and it'll remove all browsing data. So you will literally look like a completely new person. Next, I'm going to click on the Tor network settings. We've actually used this before when we wanted to use pluggable transports and bridges. We ticked this option right here and we provided bridges in this box. Now I'm not using bridges, so I'm going to uncheck this. The second option, if you're using a proxy to access the internet, so you can check this and put the proxy information. And finally, if you think your service provider or your network manager is using a firewall that only allows specific ports, then you can check this option and only use port 80 and 443. These are ports that are commonly used by websites on the internet. It's used by pretty much all websites. Therefore, if you only use these ports, you'll manage to bypass some firewalls. But again, this will still slow your connection. So I'm going to keep this unchecked because as you can see, I'm able to access the Tor network with my default settings. So I don't really need to change much. Finally, I want to show you some of the options that I recommend modifying just to make sure that we have configured our browser to be as secure and as anonymous as possible. So I'm going to click on the more options in here and I'm going to go down. Now in here you can request a new identity or request a new circuit. I've already showed you how to do this and I explained this at the start of the video. So we're not going to do it now. 
but what we want to do is to go to the options here. So you'll see an options window, very similar to the one you get with a normal Firefox browser. And what I want to do is just modify some settings that I think will just make the browser a little bit more secure. So I want to go to privacy and security. And first of all, in the history, I'm going to modify this and make sure that it never remembers history. Next, I'm going to scroll down and we're going to go to the tracking protection and I'm going to set this to always. Then I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to make sure that it's going to block pop-up windows. I'm going to make sure that it warns you when the browser tries to install add-ons. And I also recommend checking this box to prevent accessibility services from accessing the browser. But checking this box will require you to restart the browser. So I'll do this at the end. So I'm going to scroll down more. Now we have the security settings here. I will cover them in the next lecture. So right now I'm going to keep scrolling down and I'm going to check block dangerous and deceptive content. And we're also going to make sure that these two boxes are checked to make sure that you get warned when a website tries to force you to download a file. So now that I'm happy with everything, I'm also going to check this box to prevent the accessibility services. Like I said, I think this will make your browser as secure as possible. Some of the settings that we're setting here will break some websites, but we're going for maximum security. And you can also come in and experiment with these, reduce it bit by bit to tailor and to suit your use. So I'm going to check this. It's going to ask me if I want to restart the browser. We're going to say yes, that's fine. And as you can see, the browser is working now again with no problems. Just to double check, we can go to check.torproject.org. And perfect, as you can see, the browser is working. If we click here, we can see our circuit. We're coming out of France. And this is the IP that we appear that we're using.